హాయ్ హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ మై ఛానల్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ కోచింగ్ ఫర్ ఎంసెట్ ఎంఎస్ ఎంఎస్సి సిఎస్ఏఆర్ యూజీసీ నెట్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ మై ఛానల్ అండ్ హిట్ ద బెల్ ఐకాన్ అండ్ గివ్ మీ ఎ లైక్ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ వీడియోస్ ఫర్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ స్టూడెంట్స్ బిఎస్సి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎంఎస్సి స్టూడెంట్స్ పిహెచ్డి స్టూడెంట్స్ ప్రజెంట్లీ ఐ ఆమ్ డిస్కసింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో అబౌట్ మై థీసిస్ వర్క్ దిస్ వీడియో బిలాంగ్స్ టు చాప్టర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై థీసిస్ వర్క్ లెట్స్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు ద వీడియో సో మై థీసిస్ కంటైన్స్ టోటల్ సింతసిస్ ఆఫ్ పాలి హెక్టెడ్ ఏ పాలి హెక్టెడ్ బి గోనియో తెల్స్ డయాల్ టూ కామా ఫైవ్ ఏపీ గోనియో తెల్స్ డయాల్ అండ్ ఫార్మల్ టోటల్ సింతసిస్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫ్ఆర్ టూ ఫైవ్ టూ నైన్ టూ వన్ సో హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ టోటల్ సింతసిస్ ఆఫ్ పాలి హెక్టెడ్ ఏ అండ్ పాలి హెక్టెడ్ బి ఫ్రమ్ ఎల్మాలిక్ యాసిడ్ సో టోటల్ సింతసిస్ ఆఫ్ గోనియో తెల్స్ డయాల్ అండ్ ఏపీ గోనియో తెల్స్ డయాల్ ఫ్రమ్ డి మెనిటల్ already we discussed in the video 1 formal total synthesis of fr252921 we discussed in video 2 or part b so these are the structures of uh, polyhectate a and uh, polyhectate b so presently i am discussing polyhectate a and polyhectate b so uh, briefly i will tell one more time i started my phd in august 2005 so one year project work six uh, and six months synthesis of gonio tel stair one and a half year is over and after working on project 2 like uh, in the synthesis of fr 252921 mm, it this project almost consumed two years nearly so three and a half years are over so i entered into uh, 2009 january jan 2009 i entered so jan 2009 i started uh, the synthesis of polyhectate ea in jan 2009 so after 3 and a half years uh, 3 and a half years is over i have only public one publication so then i started in the synthesis of polyhectate ea so here this molecule is uh, isolated uh, uh, from this poly polyrhesis lambda lens so which have which have been used widely in china as traditional folk medicine and for the treatment of of rheumatoid arthritis and hepatitis so these molecules are isolated from chinese medicinal hands so after uh, after seeing the isolation paper my supervisor given the molecule to me so the retrosynthesis here follows so this uh, target molecule we can achieve from uh, uh, from delta lactone this delta lactone is subjected to oxomycal addition you are getting target molecule so this uh, delta lactone we can we can achieve via grubs synthesis if we subjected this molecule grubs synthesis so you can get uh, this delta lactone this fragment uh, we can synthesis from malic acid so this is uh, derived from malic acid so this uh, esnad compound this compound we can do derived from malic acid uh, from function group manipulations this is the l malic acid in general we will choose a target molecule and we will design a retrosynthesis after doing a retrosynthesis we will start the synthesis from uh, cheap starting material so here i will discuss about total synthesis of polyhectate hai please follow the cursor or mouse if you have any doubts please give me a comment first i have taken the malic malic acid and uh, malic acid is uh, subjected to 
Burundi mix condition. Sorry, first you have to treat uh, this compound uh, with methanol ester chloride. So what will happen is methanol ester chloride will generate um, dry HCl. In the presence of dry HCl, methanol and acid will take place. Esterification takes place. So he will get ester here, CO2 me. He will get ester also here also. He will get ester. So after uh, after uh, converting the acid into ester. We will treat the compound with the boron DMS. So he, he, in second step, this ester group is converted into alcohol exclusively. Why? Because in generally boron DMS uh, will form a cyclic ring with this ester and with this alcohol. So like uh, here uh, some chelation is possible with the boron. boron. So here with uh, some chelation is possible. So here uh, after formation of this chelation, so exclusively. Uh, this ester moiety will reduce it into alcohol. So after getting this uh, diol, what we are doing? We are treating with uh, diol with uh, 2 to DMP. So to 2 to DMP CSA condition and DCM. Generally, diol is converted into estenide. You see here, this is uh, converted into estenide in step one. So in step two, what we are doing is uh, mm, we are treating the compound uh, with diol. So in generally, if you do take diol and in toluene, you will use one equivalent. So this ester will is converted into aldehyde. So after conversion of ester to aldehyde, we are adding slowly here allyl magnesium bromide. So allyl magnesium bromide. In generally, you did not react with the aldehydes, you will get this alcohols. So you are getting here homohalylic alcohol. For convenience, I am taking this is why this is as a one. This is two. This is three. This is four. So subjection of this alcohol with the DMP oxidation. You see here DMP. DMP will convert alcohols to aldehydes. Uh, primary alcohol it will convert it into aldehyde. Secondary alcohol it will convert it into keto. Keto group. Then treatment of this keto compound with lithium iodide LAH. You will get one three sin reduction. One three sin reduction. This is uh, a methodology repeated by Arun Ghosh. So after treating this ketone with Vandris induction, Vandris uh, induction is taking place. You will get exclusively a required diol. So up alcohol you are getting. So up alcohol. So after treating, uh, you know, after uh, compound four is treated with the sodium hydride benzyl bromide TBA. So first step in the, this uh, alcohol is converted into OBN. Then the uh, OBN then the compound is treated with the stic acid. So after treatment with the stic acid, what will happen? This uh, esnade is removed. You are getting diol here. So after getting diol, what do you have to do? You have to treat the tosyl chloride uh, this compound five, compound five with tosyl chloride triethylamine DCM DMAP. So you see here uh, DCM DMAP. This one you are treating tosyl chloride triethylamine DCM DMAP. So you are getting primary tosyl. So primary alcohol react with the tosyl chloride. It will convert into primary tosyl group, O-tosyl. So then you are treating with K2CO3 methanol. In K2CO3 methanol. In K2CO3 methanol, this uh, alcohol is converted into alkoxide ion, and this O-tosyl will form. Here you are getting epoxide six. So just here I am explaining one thing. In for postdoc interview. One scientist asked me why this otocyl here is converting into epoxide strain ring. Explain using PKA oil. Explain the reason using PKA oil. PKA oil is so the time I am not familiar with PKA oil is, but slowly I understood otocyl otocyl group is coming from paratoluene sulfonic acid. So you see you see the paratoluene sulfonic acid acidity. It is around uh, uh, around um, minus two minus three or so. So paratol uh, water cell is coming from paratol acid, strong acid. So it is uh, water cell group is a living group. Water cell is a conjugate conjugate base of paratol sulfonic acid. So paratol sulfonic acid is strong base. That's why water cell is a weak base. Strong. So paratol sulfonic acid is strong acid. So uh, here paratol sulfonate is a weak base. So weak base in general act as a good living group. 
so after treating with k2 co3 you are getting alkoxide and anion here so because of alkoxide and attacking on water cell you are getting epoxide so why here cyclation is taking place what is the driving force means here water cell is a good living group because of it is coming very strong acid so because of this living group nature we are getting a strenuous ring the driving force for the reaction is auto cell is acting as a leaving group why auto cell group is acting as a leaving group it is coming from a strong acid so auto cell is a weak base weak bases are in generally a good a good leaving groups okay then what we have, to, uh, have taken i have prepared this compound mm, thiol in generally if you take octanol eight member eight member aldehyde you have to take the octanol and you have to treat it with the 1,3 propane thiol uh, in BF3 grade you will get the compound you have to purify this compound so after treating the this compound with, with butyl lithium so you will get a orange color or brown color brown color uh, it indicates the generation of anion so after addition after generation of anion you have to add the epoxide 6 after addition of epoxide 6 you will get compound 7 so after you will addition of compound 7 uh, compound 7 so here i i faced a problem so after uh, addition of bitter lithium to dithion but uh, the anion is not generated so after uh, after after doing this reaction we have to, to treat the reaction with 2 to dm so when you are when you treat this reaction mixture with the 2 to dmp so what will happen the 2 to dmp will uh, 2 to dmp uh, will react with the 1 comma 3 propane thiol so here take 2 to dmp so you have to treat uh, 2 to dmp treatment of this reaction first you have to take uh, uh, octanol and uh, followed by 13 propane thiol bf 3 after reaction is over um, then you have to treat the compound with 2 to dmp so any excess 13 uh, propane thiol is removed using 2 to dmp so then after doing after you have to do work up followed by column then only the compound is uh, is uh, anion is generating uh, if straight traces amount of 1 comma 3 propane thiol is present in the reaction mixture I am unable to do the unable to generate the anion. Almost one month is over for uh, for doing this uh, simple step. One month time one month time is wasted. So after uh, treating with two two DMP only after uh, doing treating two two DMP followed by column, I got a pure compound. Then treatment with butyl lithium, I generated the anion. Okay. Then move to next step. Uh, treating the compound with silver nitrate ethanol water the thiol group is uh, removed and uh, we will get the keto compound so a lot of processes are uh, available in the literature according to for your convenience you have to treat the compound with the silver nitrate then uh, treating the compound uh, ke, uh, keto compound 8 with dihethyl boron ome sodium borohydrate so here uh, this is a methodology is uh, developed by Evans DA or if Evans DA is a dihethyl boron OME uh, some before Evans some Japan scientists also developed this methodology using a tribu tributyl boron followed by sodium borohydride treating with uh, we are getting exclusively 1 comma 3 syndial uh, so this is reported by Narsaka first so after that one um, events reported with dihethyl uh, di uh, dihethyl boron ome one of the alkyl group is re replaced by ome so this is the uh, uh, dihethyl boron ome sodium borate this methodology reported by events da this is uh, the tributyl boron sodium borate reported by narsaka eaton okay then after getting After getting compound uh, 9, we are doing here simply simple functional group manipulation. This dial is converted into estrenide using 2 to DMP CSA. So you are getting you are getting a estrenide here a compound uh, 10 estrenide. So using 2 to DMP. 
so followed by if you treat with the double bond osmium tetroxide nmo you will get diol here or you are treating the compound 9 with osmium tetroxide nmo so followed by you are getting diol so in generally diol if you subjected to sodium peroxide chopping uh, diol is converted into aldehyde then if you add grignard allyl magnesium bromide uh, aldehydes are converted into alcohols aldehydes are converted into alcohols but here i tried for uh, mm, brown's allylation but uh, i didn't succeed so brown allylation is failed in the at this uh, at this step so brown allylation is failed so just to, i tried a simple allylation allyl magnesium bromide followed by treatment uh, com com compound 12 is treated with acryl chloride acryl chloride i got compound 13 so compound 13 is subjected to Graph's first generation catalyst at a DCM. So you are getting compound 14. So little bit of compound graphs graphs you while doing the graphs reaction, you have to maintain the you have to take the compound in the solvent, you have to degas first first one or two minutes, then you have to add the graphs catalyst. You have to heat the reaction in DCM for overnight. Then you will get compound 14. So then you have to treat the compound 14 with uh, titanium tetrachloride DCM. So in titanium tetrachloride, first acetate is removed, then benzyl is removed, you will get the compound 15. Then compound 15 is treated with the DBU. Here oxamagylation taking place. So you are getting the target molecule polyacted A. So for the completion of this reaction, almost uh, one year is over. Um, so 2009 is over. In 2010, I got the publication. I got the second publication. So in 2010 means almost my fellowship is over. Five years completed. So five years completed. So then I want to write for a thesis, but uh, my supervisor asked me to do synthesis of polyhacted B. So here uh, I'm explaining simple methodology, but presently I'm not interested to methodology. In generally, uh, uh, this. Uh, in, in, we, we will use to confirm the, the stereochemistry of 1,3-diol using this method. If you take the syn-1,3-diol, syn the two methyl groups adapt to different conformations, so they have different chemical shifts. And also quaternary carbon typically appears at 98.5. So here, this is this one. If you take syn-diol chain conformation, you will get to two methyls. Uh, so one methyl at 30, one methyl at 19.4. So you see, observe here, syndiols. So if you take antidiol, both uh, both methyls will come around 25. This is antidiol. So this quaternary carbon in generally for syndiol it is 98. For uh, for antidiol it is uh, above 100. This is the one. Uh, on empirical data so if you take next time if you treat uh, if you take the compound if you take a 13 diol and you subjected to esnoid protection then you take a c13 number so if you in general if you get three signals suppose 30 90 98 so this is that is syndial so if you got two signals one is at 25 or one is at 100 two signals it is confirmed and ideal. So this empirical data is provided by Scott Renovsky. This is the methodology of Scott Renovsky. So we can we can confirm the uh, we can confirm the synthesis. Uh, we can confirm the stereochemistry of one three dial. Then my fellowship is over. Um, so my supervisor is asked me to do total synthesis of polyhydrate B. So I started a synthesis of polyhydrate B using same from malic acid. So my supervisor initially provided uh, around uh, nine months. He provided uh, RA. So RA means they will give like fellowship. Why? Because fellowship is over. They will provide around eight thousand rupees per month. So he has. Uh, they provided um, supervisor provided uh, RA fellowship. So for eight months. Mm, then I started to synthesis of polyhydrate B. So treating the you have to prepare this compound from malic acid. Already we discussed in the previous slides. You have to prepare this compound from malic acid. So then treating the compound with MCBBA, you will get um, suppose uh, for understanding. Um, 
here I am taking this uh, flight number 15 suppose or go to previous flight so this is 15 sorry take this compound as a 16 so subjected to this compound with MCPBA, you will get a here uh, racemic epoxide. See here, if you do a racemic epoxide, subject to this racemic epoxide using Jacobson catalyst. Jacobson catalyst will result, will get the if you want one compound is converted into required epoxide, the 16, and unrequired diol. So unrequired diol will convert into epoxide, epoxide 16 using different steps. So we will discuss uh, conversion of uh, diol to epoxide later. So the compound 16 is uh, treated uh, with TMS acetylene butyl lithium in BF3 red condition. Epoxide is opened uh, with uh, TMS acetylene followed by treatment of K2CO3 ethanol. K2CO3 ethanol the TMS group is removed. Treating with uh, hydrogenation condition mm, we will tell Indars catalyst triple bond is converted into double bond. So here controlled hydrogenation you have to do. So you are doing uh, three steps. Here also I got a failure. I want to do the epoxide opening in the presence of uh, in using copper hydride and allyl bromide. I am unable to succeed. So I want to I am repeated these three steps. Opening of the epoxide with the TMS acetylene followed by K2CO3 treatment followed by palladium carbo palladium calcium carbonate poisoned with lead. Lindar's hydrogenation. So I got this compound 17. So alcohol is converted into um, benzyl using sodium hydride benzyl bromide TBA. I got compound 18. Compound 18. Then compound 18 is treated with uh, MCPBA. I got first uh, racemic epoxide. Then I subjected to the racemic epoxide with the Jacobson catalyst. So I got, I got a single epoxide compound, single epoxide compound. So then the epoxide compound is subjected to, to this uh, three sequence of reaction. First the epoxide is opened with TMS acetylene butyl lithium, followed by treating with K2CO3 methanol, TMS group is removed, followed by subject controlled, uh, controlled hydrogenation, controlled hydrogenation, triple bond is converted into double bond. So then simple functional group manipulation. So this uh, alcohol is converted into PMB production using sodium hydride, PMB chloride and TBA. So then, then I got this compound 21. So then compound 21 is treated with the copper chloride in estonite. So copper chloride what will happen this cyclohexane ring is removed and we are getting diol. So diol you are getting 22, 22 diol you are getting. So then we are treating the alcohol with tosyl chloride triethylamine DCM DMAP. Uh, tosyl chloride triethylamine DCM DMAP. So first primary alcohol is converted into otocyl. Here we are converting into otocyl. The otocyl is treated with KTCO3 methanol. You are getting epoxide here. So in general, a diol is converted into epoxide using uh, first treatment with tosyl chloride and DCM DMM followed by KDCO3 methanol, the standard methodology in organic chemistry. Then we have to first we are generating anion with the butyl lithium and uh, this thiol compound. So first we are treating with the thiol compound with the butyl lithium followed by the anion generated at uh, zero. The anion is generated zero. After generation of anion, you have to add compound 23. So then the reaction takes place, you are getting compound 24. Then uh, you are doing same functional group manipulations. So the thiol group is removed using silver nitrate ethanol water. So you are getting here uh, a keto compound. Then the keto compound is subjected to diethyl boron or sodium boron immense methodology. You are getting a syndiol here, 26. So here you are getting to here syndiol. Then the syndiol is subjected to 2,2 DMP CSA. You go to 2,2 DMP CSA. So 
so then the here esnard grouping esnard production is taking place 26 so esnard production is taking place so after doing esnard production sorry i forgot to mention you have to treat uh, the compound with uh, Hmm. Sorry, here PMB is missing. So after doing PMB, you have to do here second step DDQ. Just you have to do here a DDQ step. So DDQ, if you do DDQ, the PMB group, uh, the PMB group is removed. You will getting dial. This is alcohol, not alcohol. This is PMB. So first what will happen is this is PMB group. So after treating with 2 to DMP CSA, you will get the astronaut followed by the PMB group is removed using DDQ. So you will get compound 27. Then compound 27 is subjected to acryl chloride. You will get uh, the open gene compound 28. The compound 28 is subjected to DEPS first generation catalyst in DCM for overnight. Then you will get the delta lactone 29. So same steps of uh, reactions you have to do. So you will treat compound 29 with titanium and tetrachloride DCM. First this uh, snad is removed followed by two benzyl groups are removed. You are getting the polyol compound uh, 30. Then the compound 30 is subjected to uh, DBU cyclization. DBU cyclization you will get uh, target molecule polyhydrate B oxomical reaction is taking place so here the same set of reactions remove same set of reactions is done in the like polyhectide a so this public uh, this uh, synthesis uh, is manuscript under preparation not published yet so after uh, for synthesis of polyhectide b it has taken around one and a half year so 2010 also completed 2011 also completed then I started applying uh, postdocs uh, from to the uh, sorry uh, after doing uh, after completion of my work I started to uh, writing thesis and postdocs simultaneously. Then these are the links are useful for uh, applying postdocs. Here uh, first link uh, www.organicdivision synthetic faculty. Here uh, we can get uh, scientist profiles. You have to go to the profiles and uh, you have to uh, you have to grab their email and uh, you have to send your CV and uh, with covering letter. First you have to add a cover letter in the your in the email. Then after addition of cover letter you have to add CV and they you have to send email to their email ID. Then you will get the reply. According to reply, you will arrange three recommendation letters. If you after addition of uh, arranging three recommendation letters, you will get a postdoc offer from the scientist. So then if you or you can apply in the uh, indeed.com. It is also very useful. Indeed.com nature jobs and www.jobs.ac.uk. Here a lot of positions are uh, available, but then uh, but uh, UK people are not giving reply, so no, no, no need to apply for UK postdocs, just to apply in Ireland, like France, Germany, Korea, Taiwan, nowadays people are going to China, so apply postdocs in Germany, France, Ireland, USA, Canada, Korea, Taiwan, China, so if you want, anybody want cover letter or CV, please contact me at my email ID. I will provide my, my CV and with the cover letter. If you have any doubts, if you, if you want anything, you can make, you can email me anytime and you can contact me in the, you can give a comment in the video. Thank you. So for who are, for, uh, who are pursuing MSc or you are, uh, or you are uh, mm, suppose anybody want preparing for CSR, the useful links for the books. So here I am sharing the lot of books so which are useful for prepare CSA. So please go through the description. Finally, thank you.